This morning, a homeowner in the Northland woke up to find racist graffiti on her garage. It happened on 101st Terrace in the Willow Woods neighborhood. In an interview you'll see only on 5, our Casey Jones spoke with the homeowner. You can still see some of the damage left behind here. The homeowner lives here with her three children, and she says in her one year being in this neighborhood, she hadn't had any problems, but now she's concerned. The paint was hard to read, but for this homeowner, the message was clear. They were attempting to write black lives don't matter. Um, I'm assuming they ran out of spray paint, so they only got a portion of that on there. This homeowner in Willow Woods, a predominantly white neighborhood, asked us not to use her name. We don't bother anybody. We stick to ourselves and I work hard to provide um, a good area for my kids to be in. It just made me angry that people are still in denial about racism and um, overlooking the fact that there are people out there that still hate people of color. She posted to her Neighborhood Association's Facebook page asking people to check their cameras and share their videos. She has only received one grainy video so far, but neighbors did help clean up the damage. To think that somebody might feel uh, unsafe or that they're not welcome is not what what I want to see happen. So I just hope they find the people and that they, those people realize that what they did was wrong. The homeowner called KCPD. She says when they showed up two hours later, an officer made a report for property damage, which police say is consistent with any graffiti case. While we were there, KCPD detectives showed up and canvassed the area. And I felt like they did not address my concerns of this as being a hate crime. A police spokesman told me the department does not have a charge of hate crime. He says if KCPD investigators determine the crime was racially motivated, then the suspect would face biased based crime charges. They did say the homeowner could request a patrol car to sit outside of her home. In similar cases, police often find kids are responsible for these types of crimes. Children learn from their parents, so their parents are teaching them hate, and that is a problem, and that's why there's a problem with our society. As for the full value of property damage in this case, the homeowner does have insurance, and she'll have to pay a $1,500 deductible. As for the car, it will likely have to be fully repainted. Again, Kansas City police are still searching for a suspect in this case. Reporting from Kansas City, Casey Jones, KCTV 5 News.